All right, guys and girls, thank you for joining me today. I am super excited about real estate school. I've been wanting to do something like this for, oh man, probably two or three years. But today's training training is all about building a team. How so easy, we close fast and any time that works for you, your house don't need it, we'll throw cash and hit so fast, don't know what to do. All right, guys and girls, thank you for joining me today. I am super excited about real estate school. I've been wanting to do something like this for, oh man, probably two or three years. And I finally got around to doing it and putting it together. So I'm just really excited about this. Um, we are live. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We got some individuals that are going to be joining us here throughout this call as well. I'm going to do my best to try to keep this training somewhere around 30 minutes. I don't want to be too long and lengthy. So I'll do my best to keep it short and sweet. But today's training, training is all about building a team. And one of the things that I want to do to kick the training off is to build out a little mind map really quick to talk about my business and all the things that I do in my business. So, or in your business, right? All the different, uh, essentially all the different jobs that we have to do. And the reason I want to start with this is because it will show you that there's a lot of things that we need to do and it, it can become overwhelming, right? So in all businesses, we need to start by marketing. Marketing is very, very important when it comes to your business. You need to do marketing. You need to do prospecting, right? And if you are not marketing or prospecting, it is going to be very difficult for you to generate traction in your business. Marketing and prospecting essentially leads to leads, right? Leads are going to then lead to phone calls or form fields or whatever it may be to then get your business up and running, right? Well, once you start doing marketing and prospecting, um, you are then going to generate those leads and have to then call people, text them, follow up with them. So that leads it to the next thing, right? You're going to then need to run appointments in your business. Right. When it comes to running appointments, this is also going to allow you to determine repairs. It's also going to allow you to then analyze the deal or the property. So you can analyze. I don't know if I spelled that right. It doesn't matter. All right. But there's more things that we need to do in our business. Right. We also need to manage the leads. Right which basically means that we're going to want to follow up with those leads and we're going to want to nurture those leads. And again, my spelling might not be the best. There we go. It's one of my, one of my, uh, not my best strength spelling here today, folks, but you get the point. Okay. So what else is our business need? It needs marketing and prospecting. It needs running appointments. We need to manage the leads. We also, you know, need to do some administrative tasks. And I'm going to move this over to the far left side because this is really something that's going to need to be done in the beginning, but also throughout the business, right? I don't know if I spelled that right either. But again, oh, there we go. Administrative, not my best qualities this is my spelling. So what is that? Well, I mean, maybe it's, you know, creating the entity maybe it is um bookkeeping along with the bookkeeping it may be you know tax filings or strategic planning right maybe with the entity creation you have, uh, you know, different partners and you need to do other things, which we're not going to dive too deep down that. But of course, you can see that administrative tasks are going to take up, you know, some time and it's going to be part of the things that you're going to need to operate your business. Marketing and prospecting is typically going to be the most labor intensive. Let's be honest. Running appointments is something that you can do, but you can outsource this as well. Help to determine the repairs, help to analyze those deals. You're also then going to need to make offers. I'm going to put that in all caps because it's so incredibly important, right? You're going to need to manage those leads, follow up and nurture those leads. 
You're also going to need a CRM and somebody to assist the CRM management. So CRM management, which goes along with the following up and the nurturing of the leads. But there's other things that you may be managing in there. Maybe it could be, you know, all of your business contacts, right? Maybe it could be uh, managing your title codes. Maybe it could be, and we'll just add to the contacts here, you know, contractors, whatever it may be, right? So this is just from the hip, a couple of the different things that we need to be doing in our business. And sometimes when we get busy, trying to do all of this stuff is going to be difficult. Also, when it comes to the leads and phone calls, you know, we can SMS, we can do direct mail, we can do um, email marketing, right? There's, there's so many different things that we can do for prospecting and marketing. But again, the point that I want to make here is that this is just from the hip, a couple of the things that we're going to need to do in our business. Some of these are going to be tasks that are going to be required of us daily. Some of these might be weekly. Some of these might be just a one-time thing, but most of these things are going to be things that we're going to need to do all the time, and we're going to need to do a lot of. And if we're busy running appointments, we might let the, the leads and the follow-up and the nurturing go by the wayside. And if we're stuck in our CRM all day, managing the CRM and doing more prospecting or following up in the CRM, which we can even add as another option here because it's very important that we follow up. Uh, we might not, you know, be out running appointments and in the field and, and doing the things that matter. The most important thing we can do in our business, and I'm going to bold these, is marketing and prospecting and making offers. Because at the end of the day, these are the two activities that get the deals under contract, right? We can do all these other things, and they're all very, very important, but the marketing and the prospecting and the making offers is what gets deals. It's what wins us contracts. So ideally, you focus the majority of your time marketing and making offers, which also, you know, means running appointments as well. But you're going to get overwhelmed at some point if you're not already. I remember, you know, at one point we were doing 10, 12 deals a month. I've scaled back since then, uh, but I'm still on a good month doing four deals, five deals, quite a few. And it's very difficult to be out running tons of appointments and making offers but also working through leads and lists and managing all of these different things. So that's where building a team comes into play. All right. So building a team doesn't necessarily have to be a difficult task. Um, I know individuals that love bringing people in house and hiring local members. I like there's other individuals that I know and coach and work with that have a partner or a spouse and they outsource, or I should say, they share these, these duties. It's a better word, sharing these duties with that partner or that spouse. Other people like to make hires. And again, use local assistance. I have both. I have a partner. I have a local assistant that's in the office, as well as virtual assistants. So there's no, there's not necessarily a right or wrong way to go about building your team. But at some point, you're going to want to build your team. I remember when I started this business eight years ago, um, I made it about, now this is when I went full-time in this business. So I was doing, you know, six to eight hours a day or sometimes 10 hours a day of marketing and just doing anything and everything I could to, to launch my business. I think I made it about three months before I got completely overwhelmed and just knew that I couldn't go on doing what I was doing. And I brought on my first virtual assistant, Dennis. He's been with me for about seven and a half years at this point, maybe even close to eight. And he's still with me. He's awesome. He's one of my, uh, one of my best buddies. And he is very, very important to my business, keeping the business running, keeping all of these things happening in the background whoop, while I am essentially running appointments and making offers, which is the most important thing that I can be doing, right? So I have essentially brought him in to help assist, outsource, basically get these things done so we can be doing all of these. 
while I'm out running appointments and making offers, Dennis might be helping me analyze the deal. Or maybe he is making phone calls or sending out SMS texts or managing direct mail or doing marketing to then generate more appointments. He's also following up and nurturing those leads in the CRM. He's sometimes talking to the title company or contractors, but a lot of what he's doing is following up for me and doing marketing and prospecting. And occasionally we will have other things that we can put him into to help out with things. We also have some virtual assistants that will help with bookkeeping and tax filing. So trying to do all this yourself, it's overwhelming, folks. It can be overwhelming. It's not to say that you can't do the, these, these activities on your own, but if you want to create a business that you can actually own and focus your time and effort working on the business to build the business and not 100% of your time working in the business, you're still going to need to work in the business, of course, but if you're spending 100% of your time working in the business, there's no time left to work on the business. Well, in order to scale a business properly, you need to be able to work on the business not just in the business. Well, how do you work on the business? You get other individuals, partners, local team members, virtual team members to basically fill your, shoot, fill your seat for whatever that seat may be. And there's a hundred other things that we can jump into, which we're going to do next, that they can do for you to help you buy your time back. That's essentially what you're doing when you're hiring a team or building a team is you're buying your time back. So this little mind map that I created here is so short and it just, it took me 12 minutes to, to throw this together here, but I want to head on over to Reva and Reva is who I use for my virtual assistants. They're great. And they actually have a free uh, strategy session that you all can use and schedule. And they essentially have a hundred plus tasks that these virtual assistants can do for you. The one thing I love about Reva is, is they have trained their virtual assistants um, for a minimum of two weeks, sometimes more. Sometimes they'll have VAs that, you know, have been in the real estate industry or field for many years even that they can connect you with. So these individuals that you're bringing on through Reva um, have experience already. So here's just some, and this is the PDF that you can actually go get by booking yourself a free strategy call. 100 plus tasks that can have done for you by virtual assistants. And I want to just kind of go through these, right? Let's make this a little smaller so it's a little easier to read. Here we go. So in the event that you're a real estate agent, a broker, or a property manager, maybe you're not necessarily just a real estate agent. What can they do for you? Well, they can help with outbound cold calling. They can help with lead cultivation and follow-up. Networking leads added into the CRM, which I mentioned in my mind map. Follow-up with emails or calls or text messages. They can take feedback. They can set appointments. One of the, my favorite things that Dennis helps me with is answering inbound calls from our marketing efforts and then scheduling the appointment for me. How awesome is it to get um, a, a, you know, a, an appointment just added to my calendar and I didn't even have to talk to the seller. My team does it for me and on my behalf. They can help with transaction contract to close. So one of the things that can be very helpful is the coordination of the deal after I get it under contract, right? These are essentially transaction coordinators or closing coordinators. You can have these individuals or your team do this. Now, again, it doesn't have to necessarily be virtual. You could definitely bring in a partner or hire a local person. One of the great things I love about the virtual assistants like Dennis, and I have a couple others as well. I think I have uh, three virtuals at the, at, at the current time. I have three virtual assistants at the current time. The great thing is, is that you know, they don't necessarily need to be in my office. If they have a phone and a laptop, which they do, they can do anything that a virtual or that, that a local assistant could do. The only thing they can't do is, you know, go deliver documents to the title company because, of course, they're not necessarily local here, you know, at my office or in my market. Um, but you can also get these individuals at a much cheaper price most of the time than you could a local person. So it's much more cost effective to work with virtual assistants most of the time than local assistants. And that's why I love working with them because it is much more cost-effective for me and my business, uh, but it also empowers and, and, um, and helps them, you know, be able to get employment. So it's a win-win. 
So they can update and manage property listings. So again, I'm not going to go through every one of these because I don't want to bore you all. You all can read, uh, but they can help with the property research, you know, running comps, doing all this stuff. You can have them do administrative work like bookkeeping, class schedules, referral management, blog writing. If you're trying to do SEO for your website to We Buy Houses, you can even have them do social media management. So there's really not a limit to what you can have these individuals do. If you are a real estate investor like me, and probably most of you on this call, you can wholesale, fix and flip, or landlord. I do all three of these things. That's really what I love to do is these three things because I am a real estate investor. I'm working on getting my real estate license, but I'm not licensed. I haven't been for 18 years. You don't need to be licensed. What can they do? Guys and girls, my VAs do almost everything on this list. Outbound motivated seller cold calling. We're calling lists for sale by owners. Um, probate, pre-foreclosure, absentees, vacants. Isn't even on this list, but we're calling, we're texting, we're emailing, we're mailing these individuals. That's how we go about getting appointments to then go make offers to win deals. They're cultivating these relationships and following up with these individuals. We're following up to get appointments. We're following up after we run appointments to see if they like our offer. And if they don't like the offer, we're following up every couple of weeks or maybe even every couple of months to see if things changed, to see if they all of a sudden are motivated enough to then want to consider our offer. I mentioned setting appointments, right? Now, again, these are all things we can do, but we can't do all of these things simultaneously. You can maybe do two things at once if you're good, but most of us can only do one thing at once. So again, if we're cold, cold calling all day, where does that leave time for us to go run appointments or make offers or analyze deals? Building a team is the single best way to buy back your time, focus your efforts and your energy on working on your business versus just in your business. And I get in the beginning, you might not have the, the resources to build the team. Again, I told you that it took me about three months of, you know, probably eight or 10 hour days, you know, to, to, to where I got to the point where I was pulling my hair out and I needed help. One of the advantages as well as working with, you know, virtual assistants is that you don't necessarily have to share the profits with them um, like you would a partner. So there's nothing wrong with having a partner. I have a partner. I love having a partner. And there's pros and cons to having a partner, Right. Um, we split everything 50-50. By bringing on an employee versus an, a partner, you can pay them a, an annual or a, a salary, essentially an hourly wage, but then you can also bonus them. And You know what I'm saying? So you can give them uh, incentives and let them know that you appreciate them and also encourage them to work harder with these incentives, but they're not necessarily required. You're not splitting deals per se. So I always encourage people to bring on help bring on, you know, assistance to help you with these because it allows you to build your business and make more money as the business owner. So again, what else can you have them do? Property research, marketing the properties that you may be selling as wholesale deals. Maybe you're a landlord and you want to rent a property. You can have them help market. They can be writing offers. You know, I love whenever I can go run an appointment and, you know, send over uh, a little note to my team and just say, hey guys, I ran this appointment. Here's all my photos. Please add these, you know, into the CRM or into Dropbox for, for future reference. And also please email the seller uh, a contract for 126,000. And then boom, I'm going to the park or I'm going to go hang out with my wife or I'm going to go run another appointment. And my team in the background is going to then take over the baton and help get that over the finish line. I wouldn't have it any other way. You know, I have been working with the team at this point for, like I said, about eight years and trying to go back to doing this business all by myself isn't something I'm, I'm interested in doing. Now, again, I get it. If you're new, you might not have the resources to do so, but I highly encourage you after you get that first deal done or you do a couple deals to look into bringing on a team member or maybe even bringing on a team member from day one if you can afford it, because it's going to allow you to have a whole lot less stress and be in, in two places at once. If you think about it, being able to do two or three things at once without stressing yourself out. If you are a landlord, tenant ads, tenant, you know, tenant appointments, tenant screenings. If you're managing rehabs, you can help them with contractor screening and bid management, right? Bookkeeping, we had mentioned, project management, social media and blog writing as well can be very helpful. 
let's just say that you're, you know, new and you're wanting to market your business, right? Well, your virtual assistants and or local, of course, um, but they can help you build out your business, right? You need to be shouting from the rooftops that you are in business to do whatever it is you're doing. I'm an investor and I buy houses for cash. So you can bet your butt that I am on social media almost every day shouting figuratively from the rooftops that I buy houses in the St. Louis area in vicinity. And if you have a house that you need to sell, call Dave, call House Sold Easy, my business. Call us. We want to come out and, and, and see it. We want to make friends with you. We want to run an appointment and learn more about the property and your motivation to sell. And then ultimately, of course, we want to make an offer on the property so we can hopefully win the deal. And creative web social media stuff is such a great way to spread the word about your business. Facebook pages, posting, scheduling, commenting, managing, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Could be Facebook groups, could be you know Craigslist, but all these things you're going to want help with if you're not already doing it. Here's another thing. If you're not doing these things, you can have the virtual assistant or the local assistant that you bring on start doing them for you so they actually get done. And you can see there's multiple pages here. You can have them do copywriting. They could do SEO on your website. You know, they can help with a podcast or maybe edit videos or, you know, photos for social media. Um, they can help with website analytics. They can help schedule appointments, right? Also, we talked a little bit earlier on this mind map about, here it is, you know, about the administrative tasks. Well, guess what? You can have them do administrative tasks. I love having my, my virtual assistants go scrub records, like for instance, probate records or divorce records from the county website. So I can then skip trace these individuals and call or text or send mail. Or maybe I'm busy out in the field running appointments and making offers, which is the way it should be, because that's really what I want to do. And it's where I shine. It's really the best thing that I can be doing, right? So while I'm out doing that, they can be doing that. Now, I travel quite a bit to go to different real estate masterminds and groups. And if I need, if I'm busy and I need them to help book flights or book hotels, they can do that too. They can do anything you can do with a phone and a laptop, which is amazing. Online research, market research, follow up, all of these things, data mining and lead generation, uploading, networking, and contacts so they can then follow up. Again, so many more administrative tasks sending email campaigns, filtering emails, doing research, posting ads, right? Creating diagrams or charts, appointment setting, call screening, take all inbound calls is what we do at this point. Dennis most likely will answer the phone if you go to our website and you call the number on the website. If you receive a postcard from our business, you know, he's answering all those calls. He is managing that. He's adding those leads into the CRM. He is essentially allowing me to work on my business and focus on not only the things that I enjoy doing, but also allow me to focus on the things that I am the best at, right? I'm pretty good at most of these things, right? But what, where do I shine? What is the most valuable thing that you can be doing in your business every day? Well, for me, it's running appointments, making friends with sellers, and then making offers to them. That's the most important thing that I can do in my business. What is the most important thing that you can do in your business? All right. So again, I love Reva. I work with Reva. And on this, you know, on this training, I am uh, focusing on Reva because they are the best place to hire a real estate trained virtual assistant. All right. In the um, below this video, there is a link. You can go to thinkreva.com forward slash David to get that free strategy session in the event. You want to learn more. You want to jump on and talk with them. They are professionally trained and they come with layers of management, which I absolutely love. So what are the, what are some of the main things they can do? We just touched on all of these stuff, right? But they can cold call. They can follow up on the calling of the leads. They can help with the direct mail campaigns. They can do social media marketing. They can help with the administrative tasks. They can do text message marketing, which Dennis is doing a ton of that for me. Several hundred texts a day. He's marketing properties for me. And I have other virtual assistants as well too, um, as well as KPI tracking. They can do all of these different tasks for you. I love it. 
So check it out, book a, a free strategy session with them. And here are some of the great reasons why I, lo I love Reva. They come pre-trained and pre-screened. They are ready to go when you bring them on. You do not have to sift through hundreds of resumes hoping to find the right person. Instead, Reva's going to match you and place you with the right VA. They, guarantee, they have guaranteed hours in service. I know that you can get part-time VAs through them that are 20 hours a week. You can also get full-time VAs through them that are 40 hours a week. Personally, I would suggest a full-time person because you're going to get you're going to get part-time results with a part-time person anytime you have a part-time individual. It doesn't matter what company. However, if you can't afford a full-time virtual assistant, you can bring somebody on part-time for 20 hours a week, which essentially gets you four hours a day, five days a week. Um, what I love about Reva as well is they're skilled. They have past proficiency testing. They've completed personality test screening, and they've received coaching and business development support that's ongoing but they also get trained on real estate, basic real estate training, right? How to run comps, how to determine what a good offer might be, right? They're often trained in all the softwares and CRMs that you may be using already or may want to look into in the future. You know, softwares like Podio, REI Blackbook, ReSimply is my favorite real estate software, which is a CRM. And then the VA is given a daily business coaching support by the team. One of the best things about Reva is the time is managed and um, they have to clock in and clock out. If they're sitting around, they're going to reach out to you and say, hey, what else can I help you with in your business? So they have a lot of advantages because I have worked with VAs in the past outside of Reva. And if you don't give them something to do, they may not reach out. Well, with Reva, they make sure that they are busy and working and, and, and focused on helping you build your business and essentially working in your business for you. So again, you can focus your time working on the things that matter the most, as well as focus your time on working on the business. So you can grow the business and you can make money in the business. So guys and girls, a million things that you can essentially have them do. It's unlimited. You can see here, there's over a hundred different things that you can add. And we could build this out and make it, you know, and add them all in here if we wanted to. But I just wanted to start with this because this is typically the things that we're doing when we're starting out, these things here. And you can't necessarily do all of these things all the time. So having the team and building the business is definitely going to be something that you're going to want to do to not only grow the business, but not lose your mind and pull your hair out by and getting overwhelmed by trying to do all this yourself. So I'm going to drop this link into the chat. I'll also stick it into school. And um, I highly recommend Reva. I'd highly recommend you all book a strategy session, which is free to book to learn more about them, learn more about how they can help you. You can get pricing. Um, one of the great things that I love about Reva is they don't have any long-term commitments. So if it doesn't work out, you can let them know. They will. They can find you somebody else, which is going to be rare, but it, it may happen, right? You can learn more um, by booking that strategy session. So again, I highly recommend that. All right, I'm going to stop the share. I'm going to look at some of the comments. Um, Nick says, hey, follow-up needs to be bold too. Nick, you're absolutely right. Follow-up needs to be bold on the mind map. I'm going to bold it. It's bolded. I love it. Revaglobal.com um, is a great place to go. Check out the link I just dropped into the chat. Thinkreva.com forward slash David. That link's going to help support the free community. So please use that link if you don't mind um, scheduling your free strategy session. That lets them know that it came from me and then they, can, th th they will then help support the community. The community is free. Um, but, you know, your support is obviously uh, encouraged and appreciated. So much, much, much love there. Um, Nick says, excellent information. Thank you, David. Big takeaway is building a team to buy back time. And that is, that is the, the, the takeaway here today, folks. You want to buy back your time, right? One of the things that I always encourage individuals is, you know, in the beginning, you may have to be, you know, the single Entrepreneur, the self-employed entrepreneur that's also the business owner. But the definition of business is the act of making money. It doesn't require you to work 10 hours a day necessarily. 
And that's one of the things that I always want to encourage people and train people on is, is that, you know, true business owners aren't working 40, 50, 60 hours a week. They're typically working 10 to 20 hours a week because they have teams and these teams are helping them do all of the necessary actions and tasks daily, weekly, monthly that are required. So the business owner can have time to do whatever it is that they want to do. Your freedom and your time is probably highly valued. I know mine is. Truly, my time is valued more high or higher than, than anything else I can think of. So not having to, to be in the office 40, 50, 60 hours a week is freedom to me. That's what I want. Of course, I want to make money, but that money is worthless if I'm in the office 60 hours a week. So what do I enjoy doing? I love spending time with my wife, spending time with my friends, going on vacations, being able to travel, go up to the country club in the summer and hang out at the pool, go to my lake house in the, in the spring, summer, and fall, and enjoy my friends and family. My wife and I are in the process of starting a family. Once we have children, which hopefully is soon, I'm going to want to spend as much time with my children as I possibly can. I don't want to be stuck in the office. So building that team is absolutely necessary if you don't already have one. And I am constantly looking for great team members that I can add to the team to fill in the gaps as needed. So guys and girls, also, I do want to mention really quick before we wrap up, real estate school. It's brand new. I love this school. I just put this together. This is a free community. Go check it out. School.com forward slash real estate. I launched this yesterday morning, maybe the day before. I already have 67 members in the group and I'm actively looking to grow the group. As of right now, it is free to join. At some point in the future, I will probably charge a small fee to join. So get in now before that happens. If you get in and you are in, you are in for life. I will not come back and try to charge you to be in this group and all of the trainings that I plan on doing moving forward, uh, just like this one, product demos, webinars, and free and trainings are going to be hosted in the group. So if you want to come and interact with me and ask questions um, and learn about this stuff, head on over to school.com. That is S K O O L dot com forward slash real estate and come be a part of real estate school. It's an awesome interactive community and I uh, have a few people on this free training here now um, and you can come network with me, my partner, Mike, as well as all the other members and individuals in the group. And again, like I was saying at the beginning of this video, I'm excited to launch real estate school. It is an awesome community. I've been wanting to do this for a long time and we are here today with the very first training. So guys and girls, with that being said, let's go ahead and wrap it up. We want to keep these, these training videos short so if people watch the replay. They're not, you know, uh, totally, uh, you know, taking up a total, whole bunch of time. But I appreciate all you all coming. And I highly encourage you to look at building a team. I highly encourage you to go to thinkreva.com forward slash David to book a call and learn more and get the pricing and get the options so you can buy back your time. Work on your business instead of in your business and allow you to not only do the things that you want to do, but do the things that you're the best at. And again, for me, what am I the best at? I'm the best at getting out in the field, talking to sellers, running those appointments, making friends, and then, of course, making offers. If I'm in the office all day in the, in the CRM or cold calling, I'm not out doing those things. And that's where I want to focus my time and energy on. And that's really what I would suggest you all focus your time and energy on too, because that's where we get the deals under contract. That's where we gain control. That's where we essentially start making money. So with that being said, thank you for coming. Go check out real estate school. That's school.com forward slash real estate. And with that being said, I'm signing off. Thanks folks. Have a great rest of your day. House so easy. We close fast and anytime that works for you. Your house don't need it. We'll throw cash. It hits so fast. Don't know what to do. 